Today I'm going to show a quick demonstration of how I made this sparkle brush that was showcased in the advanced version of my Easy Spotlights tutorial. If you want to see the original tutorial, you can click the link below to watch that first. Let's get started. Now this is the single base shape for our brush, which we will define as a custom scatter brush. It may look a bit odd on the white background here as the shapes are in normal blending mode, but when we paint them onto a darker background and switch that blending mode to screen, that's where we get this lighting effect. So what we want to do is start with a shape that mimics a radial gradient. Now gradients cannot be included in brush definitions, so instead we need to make a blend. In order to do that, we're going to use three simple ellipses, starting from a black color with a mid-tone that matches the color of the artwork that we want to blend the lights into, and then a highlight tone that is not quite white, but it is a lighter color that creates that glow effect in the center. If I zoom in here on the already made blend, you can see the steps here. So it doesn't have to be completely smooth. This is an outline view preview just to show you what we'll be working with. And I will go ahead and use Control or Command Y to flip back to our regular preview mode and just zoom back out. So this blend is created with these three shapes. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of those. Holding Alt and Shift, I'll just drag a copy out. And then we'll want to align these perfectly to the center. So with all of them selected, just make sure that you are aligning to selection. And then we'll go ahead and click the horizontal align center and then the vertical align center just to make sure that those are perfectly aligned. And then in order to get the blend that you see here, we'll just go up to our object menu, down to blend, make, and by default, the options may not be what we need. So we'll go back into the blend menu and click on blend options to bring up the blend options dialog box. And for this, just to keep the art size small, we don't want too many shapes or too much calculation going on inside the brush because that can actually make your illustrator start to slow down and lag if you're painting too much with a complex brush like that. So we'll switch to specified steps and then I'm going to go ahead and just do 10 steps and click OK. And you'll see that gives us a very similar look. And when you're zoomed out just a bit here and keep in mind, these will usually be very small in your drawings. It does in fact look like a gradient. So don't get too caught up in the fact that when you zoom in, uh, you won't see completely smooth color transitions. That's just fine. So once we have this blend shape made, what you'll want to do next is size this accordingly. Always keep in mind as a tip that when you're defining brushes in Illustrator, it's much easier to make brushes larger than smaller. So typically you want to start with a smaller size. I'm going to go into my properties panel here and just make sure that the maintain proportion box is checked. And then I'll go ahead and just make this 30 pixels. And that will give us a better size to work with. And then we'll go ahead and select the artwork and open up your brushes panel. If you can't find that, you can go into the window menu and open it. And then what we'll do is go into the menu here and click new brush. We'll change this to scatter brush and then click OK. And that'll bring up our scatter brush options. So I'm going to name this sparkles. And then for the first three options here, I'd like to randomize the size, spacing, and scatter. You can check out the written version of this tutorial in the links down below to see screenshots of these steps to recreate this at your own speed. And of course, with scatter brush settings, we can always go ahead and change these at any time, even after your brush is defined. So don't worry too much about the settings here. I want my size to be fairly random, so I'm going to make a shape that's between 20 and 10% of the original size as the lower end here. And then the setting for the top will be almost double our original size, so up to about 60 pixels and down to anywhere between 5 and 10 pixels for the smaller end. And then for the spacing randomization, this basically just lets you adjust how much space is between shapes as you paint. I'm just going to pick something fairly random here. And then for the scatter, I want this to be very random. This defines how far the shapes will vary from the line that you're painting. And we're looking to get a very random effect there. For the rotation, I'm just going to leave that fixed. We wouldn't be able to see that anyway in this case because our base shape is a perfect circle. And then I'll just go ahead and click OK so we can test this brush out. 
And now I will just click somewhere on my artboard here to deselect, make sure you've got nothing selected. And then I will grab my brush tool and I'll go ahead and paint a line here on the dark background so we can see how that works. Now, if I zoom in a little bit here, you can see that we're still seeing the black outline, which we don't want. So with that brush stroke still selected, I'm going to open my transparency panel. Again, if you can't see your transparency panel, you can always find that through your window menu. And then we'll go ahead and just change the color mode of this brush stroke to screen. And now you can see that all of the black edges fade away and it gives us this appearance of the glowing orbs sitting on top of the purple background. I'm releasing the free project files, including all of the steps to make this brush, the swatches that I used and the brush itself in this file. And I'm also throwing in the advanced version of the vector spotlight file so that you can take a closer look at that and really dig into how that file was constructed. You can grab that from the link in the description below. And please feel free to leave any comments or questions here on YouTube or on the article page for this tutorial, which is on the Vector Art Academy site linked below. Have a great day and happy illustrating.